Let's dive a little bit deeper into skinning angles and some of the conventions that are involved with, say, a positive or negative angle relative to the before or after side and discuss the range of angles that you're allowed to set. So on the after side of cross section two, here in this example stack that we've built up, let's use the top and give it some positive angle. Now notice that positive is rotating it out away from the center line on the after side and negative rotates it inward toward the center line. But on the before side, a negative angle pushes it outward and a positive angle pushes it inward. And what you're really doing is you're setting the angle of the, the derivative vector as it passes through this point on the feature line. Now, because we have these set to be independent of each other, these can be different angles on the before and after side. If we set these to be equal, on the other hand, notice how you can use a single angle to maintain a continuous constant slope as it passes through the feature line. And notice as well that on this cross section, we've got a zero angle and on this cross section, a zero angle. So VSP is solving the spline and using the zero angles and this positive angle that we've given it here and solving this spline as it passes through all of these using the conditions that we've provided. And it will do that for all of these feature lines and all of these interpolated sections along the body. It's just very clever at how it does it. So note those conventions for the rotation direction of your skinning angles. Notice also that we have a very wide range of angles that we can use. So from minus 180 to 180 degrees. And you might wonder why you would ever want to turn the surface back on itself like this. Well, let's think, for example, that you want to have a hollow component where the surface has to go down and wrap back around itself. Well, you'll use skinning angles that are greater than magnitude 90 so that you can turn that surface back on itself and have it follow through the component while maintaining the surface normal in the correct direction. In this case, from the internal of the component, it's pushing down towards the center line of the body. So that's a bit of a discussion on the range of angles and the convention of the positive and negative on the before and after side. We'll go ahead and follow up with some more controls in other videos.